Good morning everybody and welcome to today's mental math lesson. I thought this would be a really great skill to tie in this week since we looked at the four operations earlier in the week and do a little bit of revision before we move on to our fraction unit next week. So we're going to start by revising, multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000. You'll see online that in your little task folder I have uploaded the steps to success photos that we use in school so you know each small step you need to take to be able to multiply and divide by 10 hundred thousand but I thought I'd show you some live versions now. So to begin with I'm going to show you how to multiply let's do 127 times 100. Now we remember we're not using a formal method to do it this way. We're going to crack out our place value grid which you can see I've drawn on there and then I'm going to draw in, uh, write in sorry, 227. Now we know that we can look at 10, 100 or 1000 and look at how many placeholders that number has to allow us to know how many places to the left because we're multiplying the number is going to get bigger we need to move. So 127 times 100, 100 has two placeholders so I'm going to move all my digits of 127 to places on my place value grid. added in my little decimal point to show me. Now you can see here, I've got two places in my tens and my ones where there are no numbers before the decimal point. And you know it already, quite rightly, we need to add in our placeholders to show that our number is bigger. So 127 times 100, we should end up with 12,700. Now let me show you the exact same thing again, multiplying by 10 hundred and a thousand, but for a decimal. Let's do 37.5. Again, oh no, sorry, times 10. Again, I'm going to draw out my place value grid and I'm going to add in my number, so 37.5. You can see by looking at 10 that 10 has one decimal place. Uh, 10 has one placeholder, sorry, got a bit mixed up there. So we're going to move our numbers one place to the left. One place, one place, one place. Now, you can see by looking here, we have no spaces before the decimal point, so we do not need to add in any place holders and that is just a really quick revision of multiplying by ten hundred and a thousand. Let me show you another example now but for dividing by ten hundred and a thousand. So I'm going to do to do three hundred and fifty three divided by ten. Same thing again, let's add in our place value column chart and write in our number. I've got 353, there's my decimal point, so I can see it really clearly. Now when we're dividing, we're gonna move all our numbers to the right because they're going to get smaller, and 10 has one placeholder, so I know I'm gonna move all my numbers one place to the right. I'm gonna add in my decimal point so I don't forget. And hopefully, if you've done it too, you have the answer 35.3. There are no gaps here before the place at a decimal place at the decimal point, and there are no gaps here, so I do not need to add in any place holders. I'm going to show you the same thing now again, but for a decimal. So let's do uh, 24.5 divided by. 100. Again, let's add in, oh sorry, our place value chart and I can add in my number 24.5. I'm going to need an extra place here and so 100 has two placeholders so we're going to move our numbers two places to the right. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and I can put in my de uh, decimal point. Now I've got a little gap here, 
so I, uh, before the decimal point. So I'm going to add in a zero to show that the number is less than one. And so 24.5 divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.25. So you should have everything you need now to work on the questions that I have given you in the folder. You can replay this video as many times as you need to and you have the photos of the steps of success in the folder. I have also added in the answers so when you're finished you can mark your work just like we would do in school. I'm going to show you now how you can mark your work. So you'll see in the file that when you click on the answer at the worksheet, there is an empty Word document that looks like so. Once you've worked out your questions, you can type in your answers. Maybe the answer to number one is 24. Maybe the answer to number two is 40, uh, 2.45. Maybe the answer to number three is 65.3. Okay, when you've finished, you can pull out the answer sheet and then you can mark your questions by changing the font colour or hi highlighting them. So if 24 is correct, I can uh, highlight my number, I can go up here to where the colour font is and I can change it to green to show it's correct. If I've got it wrong, I can highlight my number go up here and change it red to show that I've got it wrong. That means when I come to mark your work, I can see what you've got right and wrong straight away and I should be able to give you some comments to how to get better next time or how to fix the mistakes that you've made. I hope all this makes sense. There is a thread in Teams again, so if you have any questions, you can type your question into the chat box and I'll be able to help you as soon as possible. Happy multiplying and dividing!